right, make sure that you are sitting up straight. Remember practicing mindfulness, sitting up tall, keeping your body focused on the learning as much as you can. Okay, let's get going today. All right, today on in mathematics, we are going to continue working with multiplication and division, and we're going to connect them, seeing how they are similar. But today, I want to review some division strategies with you. Our target today is representing the concept of division of whole numbers with following models like partitioning, sharing, or thinking of division as the inverse, the opposite of multiplication. Today we have a word problem that I'm going to solve and I want you watching me solve it in three different ways. The teacher will solve this problem as an example of different ways we can show division. Here's the problem. Mr. Kemper put 12 students in the cafeteria. If there are four tables, how many students will be at each table? Watch as your teacher models how to solve it in three ways and how to write the division equation in the center. Okay, so we have a word problem. Mr. Kemper puts 12 students in the cafeteria that means all together I have 12 students. To divide means to break it into smaller groups. So I'm going to start by showing repeated subtraction. So over here, let me go ahead and get this open for us. Over here, I have repeated subtraction. So I have 12 students and I see in my word problem that there are four tables. So I can subtract four over and over again until I get to zero. So 12 minus four, we get a difference of eight. Repeat subtraction means keep going until you get to zero. Now I have eight minus four gives us a difference of four. Now I only have four students and I'm going to remove four more to put them at a table. And now I have a difference of zero. Now I can count how many times I removed a group of four. So one time, two times, three times I subtracted four. That means there are three groups. There are four students in each group at each table. That gives us a total of 12 students. Now I can show a model using groups. Our word problem says there are four tables. So I can show one, two, three, four tables. If Mr. Kemper has 12 students all together, I can put one at each table and count up to 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. If there are twelve students and they're shared equally into four tables, that means there are three students at each table. That's the same answer we got up here when we subtracted repeatedly. Now let's try an array. You guys know a lot about arrays. If I have 12 students and there are four tables, I know there are four groups. So 
I can start with four rows. One, two, three, four rows. Now I'm gonna count on to see if I can get up to 12 students. If I put two in each row or two at each table, I know my product is eight because two times four is eight. I'm gonna put one more in each row and see how many I have. Now I have put three in each row. I can skip count by threes to make sure I have 12. Three, six, nine, 12. Perfect. So if Mr. Kemper has 12 students, that's my dividend. That's my large number. So I can write 12 first. Division symbol means divide into four groups. We know that means there's three in each group. Today, boys and girls, you are going to try a word problem just like this and show it in three different ways using repeated subtraction, equal groups, and an array. I'm going to explain what tasks you're going to work on today. After you finish your word problem, like the one the teacher modeled, on slide two, you have an array. You need to write two equations, a division equation and a multiplication equation that match the model. Slide three is very similar. It's the same type of job. You need to write a division equation and a multiplication equation that match the model. If you need help, go back to slide one to look at the work we've done together here. When you are done with slide three, slides four, five, six, and seven are all the same skill. What you need to do is use your knowledge of fact families to help you solve. You need to fill in the missing number for each equation. So I know seven times five is 35. That means when I divide 35, Divide by five equals seven. If you get stuck, you have a review video here that you can watch to remind you of how multiplication and division work together.